so we're coming up on another abandoned building. We're just trying to figure out our plan of approach. It's awkwardly in just a little triangle of land between two roads. There's no tr no no trespassing signs on it. So we're just trying to figure out the best way to get there. If you look to the left, it's going to be less of a trek through the snow from the left. There's a little bridge down that way. Mm -hmm. If we were to go all the way to your right passenger side, we'd be trekking through a whole lot more snow. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Oh, that is deep snow. We might lose Rita. This might become a solo camping channel exclusively if she falls through the snow. I just need to get to that Legolas point where I can walk on top. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never get to the Legolas graceful elf point. I'll always be the big clumsy dwarf giant thing. There's still some hay bales. I think considering its position and this little triangle of land not really suitable for crops, I think it's quite apparent. This probably used to be a very small extra pasture space. And this was just a shelter and a place to store hay for their animals. You can kind of see the, remain the remains of a manger along that wall there. And if we look at the foundation too, some of the places out in this part of Alberta can be swamp, as we like to call it, swamp donkey country. So um, ground foundation can shift. And, this is, and there's a lot of wind out here. There's nothing to stop the wind. You see this kind of in Southern Alberta sometimes with these buildings too, where they get hit by the wind so consistently that they almost start to slant a little bit. So yeah, you can see the foundation is just slanted over this way. Your boots get a little wet there, Bib. Well, I'm still glad I brought rubber boots for going through the mud, but uh, they're not quite tall enough to keep the snow out of my boot when we go through the deep stuff like that. Yeah, especially not this kind of snow. Yeah. All right, well, cool find. Not really much else to say, yeah. Stuff's rotting, foundation's a bit slanted. I'm just, I'm just gonna try one thing. Give me a moment. I'm just gonna very carefully step over the baling twine here. That's sturdy. Oh, oh, a ladder. Here, hold on to this. I don't oh, want it to bounce off the wall. Are you gonna? I'm not gonna go all the way I think up. I roll up with you. All right, let me put this onto my forehead here. I'd say don't do anything stupid, but. You proposed to me for some strange reason, so. Can, uh, is it it's okay? St it's still recording, yeah. This last step is a doozy. Can I even get my foot up that high? <laughs> it's quite sturdy. Uh, no, I cannot get my foot high up enough to get to that rung. Is it missing one? Yeah, it's missing the next rung that I would step. Yeah, on. don't bother, babe. Um, you, you know what? You know what I can do here. Let's trade cameras. Okay, right here. There you go. There we go. Taking advantage of the several inches of height I have over Rita, and I don't know what we're seeing right now. I'll see it when you folks see it. And I'm betting I'm, I'm betting pigeon droppings. Watch, there's like literally just a person living up there and oh. they're just staring at the camera horrified. No. <laughs> like, oh good, they didn't see me. By the time they know I'm up here, they'll be back home editing their stupid video. Well, another stop. Stop number I lost count a long time ago. <laughs> Let's go check out some more abandoned beauties and find that dream office space that we've been, well, dreaming about. As we approached this abandoned beauty, the wind started picking up yet again. As content creators, we find that abandoned buildings sometimes act as really good wind blocks once you get inside. Although this is quite hit or miss depending how intact the wall actually is. Some of these spaces are a little too well ventilated. I would not camp this. Zero out of ten. No. Nope. <laughs> I just want to focus on this incredible detail here, right in this door frame. You can see the larger timbers that were used to make up the wall. 
and I think it's called the wattle that would be made up of like mud and straw and horse hair to keep in the heat and then their drywall material right over top of that followed by a layer of paint. You don't often see this kind of detail. It's really cool to see it all nice up and close like this. The time and effort it takes to build your home by hand like this. Like, yeah, we have more modern materials, but this is what love and dedication for your home used to be. And then we got this room over here. Woods hanging over there. Woods hanging over there. Woods hanging everywhere. For obvious reasons, we're not going in. So if you look in here, you can see all of the damage from insects eating right through this giant timber that might have been the frame for the roof at a point. Completely gnawed out, hollow practically. Might not be the only reason everything broke apart, but a darn good reason all the same. Well, a lot of the stuff looks like it's rotting away. Yeah. On that note, we should, probably shouldn't be in here any longer than we have been. <laughs> I'm just gonna take some photos. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't camp this. I, I don't think I could make this work. Wake up and the wall would be resting on top of you. 